Hi there, my name is Matthew Wallace and I'd like to welcome you to Hacks Examples. And in this video, we are going to cover the basics of what Hacks is and get it installed and run our first program. So what Hacks is, it is a open source toolkit. It is composed of a strictly typed language. It has a lightning fast, just super fast cross compiler. Uh, the platform all and the and the code, the actual standard, it comes with a standard library. Um, and what that means is, is there just like um, if you're in C++ or PHP or JavaScript even, they there's a standard JavaScript library, things that JavaScript just does out of the box, just like most programming languages. Well, Hacks's standard library is automatically cross uh, cross platform. So there's a lot of standard things like doing math, you know, math operators and greater than, less than type operations and things of that nature. Strings, uh, working with strings and um, regular expressions and things like that automatically work cross platform. Um, also, there is a way for you to access native capabilities of each uh, platform. Um, and I'll probably use the word platform and target interchangeably because Hacks a lot of times refers to another platform as a target because the compiler itself is targeting a specific language or platform when it compiles uh, Hacks code. Um, on the right is just a few examples, actually most of the examples of the different platforms and languages that Hacks will compile to. So this, that's what makes Hacks so interesting is you can use it as kind of a one-stop shop place of creating um, you know, code that runs on all of these different systems and platforms. So the use cases for Hacks are several. Uh, a lot of developers use Hacks to build games uh, across multiple platforms. Uh, web, they use it for web because you can actually create um, you know, Node.js code, you can create uh, Ruby, you can create PHP, C Sharp, um, and all of those will run natively within inside, you know, as a native um, um, application on the web. So that's, that's the good thing about Hacks is you can, you can compile JavaScript or you can compile PHP code if you wanted to. Um, another good use case is desktop applications, uh, command line applications, and then also if you wanted a cross-platform uh, API that you wrote. So let's say you want some code that uh, talks to uh, your services on the back end uh, for, say, iOS and Android or something of that nature. You could write a hacks program that would compile APIs for both of those platforms for them to communicate with services that you've set up is another good use case. So I would also uh, encourage you to go to the web address on this uh, slide. It'll uh, show you a lot of examples and talk about a, a lot of the use cases in more detail. So the next thing that we want to uh, have a look at is the hacks.org website. So what you can actually do is go to hacks Dot org and there's a ton of information here. Uh, I would encourage you to check out the learn hacks section. Uh, the main thing we want to go over in this video is just downloading it and installing it. So uh, you go to the download section, choose the platform you're on, Windows, Mac, or Linux, and get hacks installed. I will go to the OS 10 installer because I'm currently running on a Mac. So once that is downloaded, we can run the installer and it's fairly straightforward. Um, the compiler is not very large and it doesn't take very long to install at all. So once the installer is up, I'm gonna hit continue and hit agree, hit install and And once that is installed, I'm then going to open up a terminal window and just type hacks. 
and that'll give you a good uh, determination of what it'll, it'll a good indication rather that hacks is installed because you'll get a lot of the helpful command line arguments that you can give hacks and it'll also tell you what version of the hacks compiler you have installed another quick little thing to note is the copyright information hacks has been around since 2005 so uh, if you were wondering whether this is a stable compiler and language to develop on it's been around for a long time and uh, people are actively working on it and improving it constantly um, hacks two versus hacks three there was a huge improvement so um, it's it's been a really good platform to get to know and to add to my toolbox and i hope you find the same so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a hello world application um, i'm not going to get in too much to uh, what ides to use because as a developer i'm sure that you know what you like but i will show you real quickly before we go through the Hello World application is to go to the uh, Learn Hacks section of the website, go to the introduction page, and you're gonna to go to editors and IDEs, and there are a list of them here that are good IDEs for developing. Visual Studio Code is one that is cross-platform that is really good for hacks development. Uh, hacks develop is specific to Windows so if you are on Mac or Linux you can install it and run it using uh, wine but I don't recommend it it runs pretty slow uh, it is a good IDE if you're on Windows and I would highly recommend it I actually use Atom so anytime you see me doing any hacks development it's typically going to be either Atom or Visual Studio Code are the two that I like the best but these are all good solutions uh, the one that doesn't currently work very well unless you have IntelliJ 14. Uh, if you have anything newer than that, then the plugin for IntelliJ kind of stinks. So I would stay away from it or check and see if they've updated it. It might be a little bit better. So now that we've kind of gotten that out of the way and you've gotten an IDE downloaded that you can use, uh, we're going to open up a Hello World program that I have. I've already created one, so I'm just going to talk about the code. And you can create the necessary files on your end. Just go into a go into a directory and create a hello world directory, and then you're going to open that in your favorite text editor. So I'm going to say Adam, and let's just open the current directory. So the things that you want to ignore are the build.haxml file for now, and the uh, hello world in these this is just some uh, testing that I was doing earlier the main thing you want to create is an SRC directory and a main dot hacks file so it's a main dot hx file and open that in your favorite text editor and even if you don't have a uh, hacks plugin that gives you syntax highlighting you can go ahead and create the program uh, just these very simple five lines of code will create a hello world application in hacks and all you need is just this class main definition and this static function main created with a trace uh, statement or a trace function is uh, what this actually is and this is part of the standard library if you've uh, used other languages you know um, some languages use print line uh, is in Java typically or the echo statement in PHP or whatever it's very similar to that um, so all this is going to do is print out hello world to the console for us. So how do we get this to run? Um, I have a terminal window open in, um, in Atom, but I'm actually going to switch back over to my terminal window here. And let me hide Atom really quick. So inside of the directory where you have your SRC, let me just do an LS here. So we have the ls, uh, we've ls and we have the src directory here and our main hacks file is in there. So what we wanna do is clear this and then we're gonna type hacks and then we're gonna say dash cp and we're gonna say src. So this is just telling the compiler all of our code is located in the src directory. This is the 
directory you're going to run through the compiler uh, and run our program. So then the next argument we're going to give it is the main argument, and we're going to. This is just telling the compiler the main file that we're going to run is main, and you don't have to worry about the file extension on the end. It assumes that extension will be there whenever it looks for that file, and then so that we'll get the trace statement back in the console, we want to give an argument of in terp. So what this is gonna do is tell the compiler to use some macros to interpret the hacks code and run the program for us and give us feedback in the terminal window. So we're gonna hit enter and we get hello world and it tells us what line in the main.hacks file the hello world statement is in. So we've successfully run our first hacks program. So uh, congratulations and I hope you come back soon because we're gonna have all kinds of great examples on hacksexamples.com for you. So please let me know if there's something in particular you're looking to learn. If we don't cover it, I'd love to get feedback from you guys and we will see you next time.